Right now we're in a little town called Jumani. Uh, Haiti, the border is about 100 yards behind us. Uh, everyone said we were crazy for going to Haiti, so we took it to the next level. We decided to walk across the border by ourselves. Uh, everyone said in Haiti we're gonna get murdered, uh, tortured, kidnapped, all this crazy stuff. Uh, it's a level four on the US government's website, which is the highest level it could possibly be. Uh, it said, do not go, do not travel, dangerous. But honestly, I think it's all bullshit, and that's why we're doing this, just to prove that it is a nice place, the Haitian people are nice people, and that uh, you have an enjoyable time. So far, everyone's been very nice to us, smiling. Uh, I feel welcome. We, uh, we already paid $20 to get our stamp at the customs. There, everyone was very friendly. Uh, and now, we're gonna be walking through the border. We just gotta show them our stamp. Guys with guns, we'll open it, open it up, let us in. And uh, we'll, we'll check out, we'll see how it is on the other side. Bonjour. <laughs> Border, they checked our passports. Now we're kind of in like a no man's land, I guess. Uh, now we have to walk through the Haitian part of the immigration. I thought that was it, I thought we were done. But we've just begun. Ah, no, merci. On va aller à pied. Vamos a pied. No, no, se preocupe, gracias. No, merci. Merci. I have to say, this is one of the most beautiful borders I've ever seen. I mean, the this beautiful, pristine lake. Everyone's very friendly. So, so far, Haiti has been quite an exceptional experience. We're finally through. It cost us $60 each to get through. I'm pretty sure we probably got ripped off somewhere in the middle. But, uh, I don't, there's no way to really get around it. So, 60 bucks, still not bad. But we're here, we're officially in Haiti. And now we're just waiting for someone to pick us up. I'm guessing it's about 30, 40 minutes away. I have a feeling the show is very packed. Uh, and it's pretty bumpy. I'm kind of excited to see how packed this thing gets. I want to see people's faces when they see two blocks sitting in the truck. Out of the tap tap, and it was only about 15 or 20 minutes, a lot shorter than I thought. 
And it seems like I'm making a dumb joke, but I'm not, but it really is better than the New York City subway system. There's like a million of them, they're always coming. Then we got two waters for five gourds, which is like, I can't do the math, but it has to be less than a penny. And it's a nice cold little bag of water. Now we have to jump on uh, another tap tap to go downtown to where, which is where we want to go. to the Atis Resistance. Uh, it was a lot easier than I thought it would be. We got directions from our Airbnb host. Holly speaks a little French, which helped. But uh, besides that, it was a lot easier than I thought it would be. And everyone on the Tap Tap is super helpful with where we had to go. So it may seem confusing and overwhelming, but it was incredibly easy to get here. Now we're just a couple of blocks away from the from the art place we're going to, hopefully. Ah, okay. Hello, my friend. Resistance. As you can see, it's a bunch of recycled art from uh, young students. Some of them are building over here. As you can see, it's a lot of voodoo inspired art around here. It's some pretty tricky stuff. I want to take something home too, but it's gonna be hard to choose just one thing. We just left the uh, Artiste Resistance, and it's a lot more expensive than I thought. I wanted to get like, a little statue made out of a tire and like a piece of gum, and they wanted $50 for it, which is fine. I'm happy to give it to them. Uh, I didn't have enough money on me, so we're gonna come back in two days. Uh, but right now we're gonna walk around a little bit. I really like this part of Haiti. Everyone's really nice. It may not look like the nicest part, but I really like it. Everyone's smiling and waving. for a little bit. We stopped at uh, Olaf Sun Hotel. And the reason we stopped here is because before we came, we watched the Anthony Bourdain episode when he came to Haiti, and this is where he stayed. Um, so of course, we wanted to check it out. Uh, it really is a beautiful place. It's a really old feel to it. It has a really nice view, and the coffee is really good. And as we are exploring, it feels like it really needs more tourists to come here because it feels a little bit abandoned, even though it is quite beautiful. So we're going to continue the exploration. We finally made it to the Port au Prince Cathedral. Um, I don't know this for a fact, but I'm guessing it all got destroyed during the earthquake. It looks like it. But yeah, it looks like it was once a beautiful place, and hopefully uh, it gets fixed up soon.
we found uh, we found the iron market we're gonna go in. <laughs> Yes, how are you doing? Bonjour. Did you tell that? So here in this market, it's divided into two, the artisanal part and the voodoo part. And we are currently in the voodoo part. This is the voodoo side, that is the voodoo side. Let's take a look at it. Is it Let's go up that way. Let's take a different way. Do you want to walk through the garbage? Yeah. Okay. Marketplace, and uh, you might watch it and say, "Why? Why would you ever go there?" But I kind of like seeing that. So we see the most culture. That's where you see the biggest smiles, and also just to prove that it's still safe no matter where you go. Like we didn't know where we were going. We didn't know if it was safe or not, but we felt safe the whole time. And uh, I'm really, I'm happy we went. It was a cool, a cool little place. Now we got some more bags of water. As you see, I'm dying. It's like a thousand degrees. Um, I think we're gonna find a tap tap to head back in our direction of our Airbnb. Really quickly, uh, we just want to say to not judge Haiti by what we're showing you. Um, what we're showing, it's not really the prettiest parts of Haiti. Uh, but if you do your research, there really are some beautiful places in Haiti that you can see. Uh, but the point of this video, the point of our trip, was just to show that Haiti is a safe place. Um, we walked so many different places and we felt safe every single place we went. There wasn't once on this trip that I didn't feel safe. Um, so once again, just don't judge the prettiness of Haiti by what we're showing you. Just judge the safeness. And we just wanted to share with you the style of travel that we love to do, which is to be amongst the locals as much as possible and have a really authentic local experience. And um, lastly, I don't, we don't want to come off too naive. I know there are, are some dangerous places in Haiti that you shouldn't go to. Um, so obviously do your research about that. Uh, but yeah, if you have an adventurous spirit, this is definitely the place for you. Uh, so now back to day three of our trip in Haiti. Pachonville. The tap tap right up here is insane. I wish I could have filmed inside of it. We're so squished with like a hundred people in the back. At one point I tried to put Polly on my lap just to make room and everyone's like, no, no, no. I'm not sure why you can't do that, but we finally made it up here. It's on top of a big hill. It's a really cool area, so we're gonna walk around a little bit. Jalousy slums. Um, I think sometime after the earthquake, the government spent almost $1.5 million to paint, paint it to make the slums look a little better. And I guess a lot of the locals were pissed because obviously a million, $1.5 million could have been spent in a much better way instead of painting the slums. But it is nice to look at, it's pretty cool. Here's no it is. Mm -mm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Taking a motorcycle up for 150 good. About four or five miles up. Thank you. 
Now we're walking down the hill and we're hoping to hitchhike instead of getting a tap tap. I think we can do it. In fact, I know we can. Go to the back. Oh Ben, thank you man. Merci. When we were making the decision to cross the Haitian border and go into Haiti or not, we were met with extremely strong opposition from our loved ones, and they had good reason to because everything you read about Haiti right now is saying that it's this lawless, war zone, ravaged country, and please, you are urged not to go there. Uh, any smart person would not go there. And that is a tragedy. Yeah, and before we went, we asked a few Haitians, like, is it safe for us to travel to your country? And every time, like, they were so shocked that we were even asking them. You know, it was like, they were like, why would you even think that? And it, uh, which is kind of crazy to see. Yeah, it's like if you are going to someone from Florida and asking them, hey, is it safe for me to go to Florida? And what we got was people saying, no, please come to my country. My country is warm and they want to have you and they're welcoming of tourists. There's so much to offer. But uh, back to the video. Perfect. Thank you very much. Okay, have a good I appreciate time. it. Yes. Finally got a piece of artwork uh, for forty dollars. It goes to a good cause, which I'm happy to do. Now we're walking around, try to find some coffee, maybe some street food. So as always, we have to stop at uh, the local bar here and get another prestige. And read Le New Venise. And I said yesterday that these were better than the Dominican beers. But the only thing is the Dominican beers are always ice cold, which is excellent. But these are pretty cold too. But these ones are pretty cold. So yeah, it's still better than the Presidente's. We're just walking out of Cafe Terras. Um, I think it's our favorite little cafe around here. It's like right in the middle of downtown. They have great food, cold beer, amazing coffee. Um, and the owners are really great too. We just talked to them for about almost an hour. Uh, they thank us for being so brave for coming to Haiti, which is good to hear. Uh, but yeah, they're really nice people, and if you come, I definitely recommend this place. So, my friends. <laughs> As you may have just seen, I had a little impromptu photo shoot. Uh, I saw some kids sitting against the cushions. I knew it would be an awesome picture. And I was like, please let me take a photo. He kept saying no, no. And I knew he was just being shy. I knew he really wanted one. So eventually, some old guy decided to take a picture first. And then once he took one, let's see where he is. Once he took a photo, then everyone jumped in and everyone wanted a photo. It was really cool. Everyone was super nice. It was uh, one of my favorite moments I've had here so far. Uh, I brought like a million of these Polaroids, so I'm happy I was able to use them finally. 
Uh, so we just left the Iron Market for the second time. Uh, this time we spent about 30 or 40 dollars on a bunch of random stuff. Usually I like to bargain like crazy, but here I didn't even feel the need to. I was happy to give them as much as I could. Everyone was, again, super nice. Usually in touristy areas too, uh, people are like persistent and annoying, but here, like, honestly, they're, they're too kind here. Everyone is too nice. And it made me want to buy something from every single person I saw. Um, but we're leaving Iron Market and probably heading back. Maybe we'll walk into a few more things. Maybe find another local watering hall, if you will. I just never want to leave. I kind of wanted to stay here. Go the back. This may be one of our last cap tap rides, and it's one of the smallest. I can barely fit. More, more people are here. the term Blanc a few times and that's because that's all we would hear as we were walking around the streets is Blanc, Blanc, Blanc. Um, and if you're a foreigner, if you're not from Haiti, that's just what the locals call you no matter who you are, no matter where you're from. Um, and Blanc, it literally translates to white, but uh, it, they don't, it's not used in a negative way at all. It's just what you're called while you're there. It's like they're just acknowledging you as a non-Haitian. Exactly, yeah. And the other thing that we observed is virtually every child 18 and under is walking around in a school uniform that is clean and pressed and well taken care of which as an outsider it looks incredibly promising for a developing country yeah it gives us like high hopes for this country and hopefully it has a, a bright future ahead of itself and now back to our last adventure in haiti it's our last day and we are going to the airport in the best way possible. We are going in a tap tap and then once we get to the, the airport vicinity we're going to take a scooter with our bags and do it the smart way, the adventurous way. So wish us luck. Yeah. 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 Yeah.